Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you, dear wonderful friends, listeners, and viewers from around the world. Thank you for your support, and thank you for always being there. May I quickly crave an indulgence, so please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. The Ibuayaka or oh, Ibuayaka led Ohaneze Youth Council, a social cultural group, has warned members of the state's houses of assembly in Igbo land that are plotting and executing the plan of total open grazing law should drop the idea of face the rot of angry Igbo youths from their various constituents. The warning comes on the heels of the recent directive by the President Muhammad Buhari led federal government for the review of the 368 grazing reserves in 25 states. Ohaneze Youth Council, in a release sent to Daily Post on Tuesday, called on state lawmakers from the region of the Southeast to urgently pass the anti-grazing bill, anti-open grazing bill, into law in all Igbo lands to save lives and properties or be recalled. The Igbo organization also urged them to emulate their river state counterparts that have acted on the request of the masses in the state by passing the anti-open grazing bill. According to the Ohaneze youths, the Southeast governors, led by David Umahi of Ebony State, shouldn't romance killer Fulani headsmen. Both should embrace this call and remember that it was lack of leadership, direction, as regards insecurity in Igbo land that made the pro France to take laws into their hands on self-defense. And the consequence of such acts is still an untold story in the Southeast. The group noted with regrets about an alleged inducement of state lawmakers from the zone, from Miyeti Alakatu Breeders Associations, to jettison the call for open grazing in the Southeast. The Ohaneza Youth Council lamented that over 500 people had been slaughtered by the dreaded Fulani headsmen in the Southeast since 2016, vowing that no amount of money is worth exchanging the lives of Ndibu. The Apex Igbo Youth Group in Igbo Land also issued 30 days ultimatum to members of the State House of Assembly of the Southeast Extraction to pass the anti-open grazing bill into law, as failure to do so without doubt mean that the whooping 5 billion naira was really collected and acted upon. Ohaneza Youth Council stated, there will be an all Igbo youth march to the family house of the House of Assembly members to demonstrate a civil disobedience from the people. This movement will be more heavy than the Abba women mass resistant riots that made Britain stand still. The House of Assembly members in Southeast should watch their actions and inactions and as well know that they are commonly living with the people in various communities in Igbo land without any form of immunity or sophisticated security details like the governors. Therefore, any attempt to take bribe and jettison the anti-open grazing bill will be a fool hardy that endangers not only their lives but that of family members as well as neighbors in the Southeast. Southeast has become the land of blood spillage by incident attacks of Fulani headsmen that Enugu and 
Ebony State had most victims of Fulani attacks, and our farmlands has been in, has been deserted. That famine will soon hit the southeast. Therefore, those behind all attempts to collect five billion naira from the Miyeti Alakatu Breeders Association to jeopardize the southeast security should know that. Ukunaga Wamwam, Anyanaga Zamzam, Nazuya. All right, guys, you have heard what has been said. The Ohaneze Youth Council for the called on community youths of Igbo extraction to rise up now and resist any attempts to scuttle the anti open grazing bill. Currently, disgruntled members of the Sorry, the anti open grazing bill by current disgruntled members of the south of the state house of assemblies in the southeast. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? Hasina Ukunaga Wam Wam Anya Naga Zamzam Nazuya Onyewere Nti should be using the Nti to be knowing what is being saying what is being said all right guys what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were it is the best thing that evil use rise up lawmakers are now fond of taking laws into their hands you know ignoring the um the people the wishes of the people like on the issue of the um petroleum industry bill you can see that lawmakers from the south uh, south, southern part of the country, especially from the south, south, and some part of the southeast states. You know, there are lawmakers who voted, voted along party lines. They voted against their own people, knowing that they could have voted and made a lot of money available to their communities to prosper and to be developed. But because they've been given money at their level, at the uh, Senate level and all National Assembly, they settled for the three percent. So, the state houses of assembly members should also be careful and know what is right for their people. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news stories? Well, drop by at the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Please kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Also, endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you guys on the other news. Thank you so much, and bye for now.